Here on Short Answers, we take a topic and ask two short questions. In this short video, we look at the idea of the tragedy of the commons. So the stock of natural capital in many countries is under threat from the tragedy of the commons. Here are two questions. What is meant by the tragedy of the commons? And question two, explain one strategy for protecting natural capital. So first of all, what is meant by the tragedy of the commons. The tragedy of commons comes about from the fact that common pool resources, such as grazing land, for example, don't necessarily have well entrenched property rights or customs of behaviour which allow them to be maintained properly. So when no one actually owns a resource, it may risk getting overused. Classic examples would include things like fish stocks and deforestation and the overuse of, of grazing land. People gain a marginal private benefit from a common pool resource by, for example, allowing their sheep or their cows to graze on common land, but they may not necessarily think of the impact on others. And the key point is that if, if we overuse a common pool renewable resource, that can cause a long-term diminution or decline in the maximum sustainable yield from that resource. And we call that a decline in the stock of natural capital. And there's a picture of a sheep. So explain one natural strategy for protecting capital. One strategy for protecting natural capital. Well, one policy would be perhaps to try to remove or cut distorting government subsidies to harmful activities. For example, in the fossil fuel industry. Without government financial support, many oil platforms and coal mines would actually no longer be commercially or economically viable. They couldn't make a profit and uh, perhaps without the subsidy they would be forced to shut. And this could benefit the immediate surrounding natural capital of those sites. Uh, if we, the closure of these things would also lead to a fall in the market supply of both oil and coal, uh, increasing the market price. And if the price of those commodities goes up, that could cause a substitution effect which might enhance investment in and demand for renewable energies as a competitive source of energy. If renewable energy goes up, then we see a fall in carbon emissions and a fall in pollution. Uh, that leads to both the short-term benefit of cleaner air, less air pollution and particles in the, in the atmosphere, and also the long-term externality of mitigating climate change. So the strategy emphasised here is to cut uh, government subsidies to harmful activities which create or contribute to climate change. That's the short answer on the tragedy of the commons.